ache game popping here. My wife's asleep. Uh, I ran out of space on the computer while I was recording machining this, but I finished it off camera. How's that for a fit? Yeah. Hey, gang, we're back. Uh, we're turning this bronze. Why do I know it's bronze? Because it came out of an autoclave. Live steam sterilizing instrument for surgical goodies like knives and scissors and saws and needles drapes and you know all that surgical stuff that they want absolutely clean they put it in an autoclave and saturated steam would kill anything in there thing with steam is it dissolves zinc. If you have a brass fitting and you're running steam through it, the steam will eat the brass slowly away until you've got a copper sponge in the shape of a brass fitting. Tin. Immune to steam. And other alloy metals. I believe this is a phosphor bronze by its color and the way it's machining. It's making them beautiful sixes that Adam make Adam Booth makes with uh, great big pieces of 4140 that are yay long <laughs> and he's turning a half an inch depth of cut these are making nice little sixes like those. Anyway, back to machining. Okay. Now. Since I got my digital micrometer behaving, six fifty-eight, and I want to go to six eighteen. So I'm like forty over ten. Engage power feed. Go. It says, being my father-in-law is really the only gift you need. Love, Cole. That's my daughter-in-law. Now, some of the other machinists on the tube, then it took that 40 and... 
one. Bunch should take it in two. I'm not ashamed of sneaking up on it by taking it in four. I mean, I got all night. Literally. Uh, earlier this evening, I was uh, practicing chemical warfare against a bunch of wasps. They were the brown paper wasps. They found this plastic above ground pool strainer basket. They were right near the door of the shop we were in. For some reason, they decided that they didn't want me going in the shop. One of them stung me there. Right there. Yeah, that hurt. So I went in and I got this new poison we're using. Not using spectricide. Anyway, we're using this stuff. The clinics being all natural and organic. It smells like oil of cloves. With a little hint of kerosene on the undertone, you know? And yes, I did not back the tool away from the cut. Because this long back off is essentially a spring pass. Six forty four. Come on. surface finish. Uh, this tool is yeah this is one I've had for a long time. Uh, I use this baby in high school. I use it in almost every shop I was working in. There was one shop I was working in, they wouldn't let you bring any to it. They were afraid you're going to bring in your micrometer, it was old and cruddy, and take home their micrometer. My, how untrusting the U.S. government is. This 
Hey, there's still ice in it. Uh, it's the last of this month's orange age. Till my wife buys more orange juice. They have to make more orange juice. Getting a real nice surface finish here. I mean, very nice, very shiny, very Oh, uh, I told you about the easy chair lift mechanism I took apart. Like I said, I've got the motor and it's RAM in one unit that's going to get separated. And of course, the electrical is all still attached. And it goes in and out and in and out. And it moves real slow. It's got a lot of torque. I mean, you should lift my fat smelliness when I was fat and smellier. Thirty-five. Three. Pass this should bring us around a little bit. 
Anyway, I'm hoping that I'm planning that I'll be able to hook this uh, lift chair mechanism either through belt or gear or I've got a Kirby flex shaft that's more than strong enough. All right? So I've got instant backwards and forwards. Just getting it slow enough. And oh, here, anyone is asking, I've got a nice radius on this tool. So uh, there's not a stress riser here. Six twenty five zero five. Okay, now I want to go to eighteen. Right? <laughs> oh, that's that's seven. All the way up, and now we're going to creep on it. One. No, I'm not. I'm not kidding. That's a thousand. Oh yeah. I learned this trick, big radius tool, if you're doing a long straight turn and you want nice and smooth, I mean you can hog with a chip breaker or a carbide or all that you want, but you want to get down to that finished smooth surface, a nice big radius Drop your feed sub Yeah! Over there! Stop! All of us watching for a half. New, hesitating, subject them all, or they have a Now you know why I'm sneaking up a thousandth of an inch per cut. Shut up, he can't hurt. That's come with color.
like lathes, you know, big ones, they have a feed reverse lever that you can just ding, ding, <laughs> you know? Although, you know, having to stop the lathe, you know, flip the fleet re feed reverse lever, you know, isn't that onerous, but, you know, go, you know, but so impressive. Six twenty one fifty. No, that's not good. <laughs> Sorry. It's hot. But I don't want to flick that. I'm not ashamed. I just don't want to flick that on this. Every once in a while, this unit right here wants to slip off the uh, connection. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is sister, this one. Came out of an autoclave. This one was the worst. It was the one, the hinge side. Forty years of scrubbing and slamming the door or the hatch or the round thing to clamp. Anyway, open and closed, wore a saddle in it. I just turned it till I turned the saddle out. Demonstrate straight turning. And one of these days, well that day, he here. 
This is going to get turned down to this diameter. Pop a hole in it to clear the lead screw here. That way I can remove this, slide this in. Screw my three jaw chuck on there and put my three quarter 16 tap in it. That way if I want a power tap on the blade, 